Hello and welcome back to LearnAboutEyes.com. In this episode, we're going to look at one super cool part of the slit lamp, the stereo variator. Unfortunately, not all of them have it, but if you have it, it is a super useful tool to see a lot more on your retinal exams. So let's begin. The stereo variator is usually mounted as the front part of your slit lamp and can be set to wide or narrow. It greatly improves your fundus exam by reducing reflections and increasing contrast. So let's see how it works. Imagine this is your patient's eye and this is your slit lamp. All slit lamps have a mirror over which light from a light source is reflected into the patient's eye. The eye itself then reflects the light and allows the examinator to see. In this case, we're looking at the retina of a left eye and the two circles on the right represent what each eye of the examinator can see. In real life, to actually see the retina, we would of course need an indirect ophthalmoscopic lens, but for illustration purposes, I left that out. If you want to learn more about these lenses, check out my last video. If the patient is dilated, the examinator can see the retina clearly with both eyes. But what if you have to examine an undilated patient? Then the light beam reflected by the patient's retina is not broad enough to be seen by the examinator with both eyes. To compensate for that, the examinator has to move the slit lamp to the right or to the left to only see with one eye. Most experienced eye doctors don't even realize that they're only looking with one eye. But residents usually notice it when they're looking through the observer tube and see absolutely nothing while the attending is describing the fundus in great detail. So how could we solve this problem and still see the patient's retina with both eyes even though he's not dilated? For that to work, we would have to move our eyes closer together. And you know just pushing the eyepieces closer together doesn't work. Of course, the solution is the stereo variator. When you're setting your stereo variator to narrow, you're actually bringing your eyes closer together. And this then allows you to see an undilated patient's retina with both your eyes. But putting your eyes closer together now creates a new problem. The mirror is in the way. To solve that, you need to move your mirror to the side by one step. Moving the mirror to the side comes with two more benefits. First of all, it reduces the reflection coming off of your lens. And second of all, it's giving your image more contrast. Everybody who's into photography knows, to get a better image, you need to take the flash off the camera and light your subject from the side. This doesn't just apply to portraits, but also to retinal images. Of course, using a stereo variator also has its drawbacks. If you've ever been to a 3D movie, you know that both your eyes need a slightly different image to see depth. When using the stereo variator, you're basically looking at the same image with both your eyes and therefore losing your depth perception. This is especially important when you're trying to see a macular edema or a retinal detachment. So that was already it. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel and go practice your slit lamp exam.